women. I have a confession to make. I love women. I love them so much, in fact, that I would even deign to say that I respect women. Not everybody shares my same sentiments. We're going to look at someone today who in fact has a bone to pick with women. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I think it's only fair that we hear him out. So, <clears throat> let me introduce you to Captain Darth Aurelius ABJD. <laughs> now, I feel like an idiot. I didn't know what, what those acronyms stood for, but they do sound impressive. What's an AB? Uh, a Bachelor of Arts. So he has a bachelor's degree, that's cool. I actually, in fact, also have a bachelor's degree. So I didn't know I could be putting that after my name this whole time. But I will be doing that post hence. Recorded in a stunning 480p. Fireside chat with the leader of the incel movement. All right, here we go. Oh, greetings. And welcome to our new inaugural episode of Fireside Chat with Darth Aurelius. My name is Darth Aurelius, and I am the captain and commanding officer of the Incel Protection Forces. I'm also the Fuhrer of the Incel Liberation Movement. Fuhrer is crazy. This man is just a, a cocktail of chaos. And today it is my very great pleasure and privilege to bring you a message, a very simple message. And this message is actually for women. The first thing you women need to understand is that we as incels, involuntarily celibate men, we do not wish to destroy you, or to or to enslave you, or to kill you, or to do you any harm whatsoever. Not at all. En contraire, si vous play. Actually, we seek to educate you. Indeed. For we want you to understand who we are, why we suffer, and why we think the way we do. Now as we see it, the problem isn't with women per se, because for generations, for a millennia, women were good, honorable, decent housewives, obedient, and comforting for their men. Now, the problem isn't innate to you. Indeed, it's not even your fault. The problem is with Western culture and Western civilization. And that problem needs to be rectified. It needs to be redressed, and it needs to be remedied. Ah, a true intellectual like me. He is a devotee of the Oxford Thesaurus. That was such a pleasant tautological rabbit trail, he just let us down for a moment. Because unfortunately, you women have been contaminated. Your minds have been infected. And so you don't know any better. You can't help yourselves but act in a profligate and promiscuous way. You don't know a quality man when you see one. And indeed, we in the IPF have many quality men, myself included. I'm six foot three, 220 pounds. I'm extremely muscular. I have a Juris Doctorate. I drink 1937 Chateau Latour. And I read the Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. But yet, you women ignore me and you look upon me with contempt, merely because I'm incapable of making small talk or telling some crude, crass jokes, which you find to be humorous. Well, I agree with him on that. Crude and crass jokes have no place, no place in the ears of women. I would never deign to engage in such caddish behavior. But where's Santa? Oh, that's the real special part. If you sing, he'll come. <laughs> <laughs> Now that is sad. That is a travesty of justice, and it is unnatural. I thank you for listening. All honor and glory to the Supreme Gentleman. Inshallah, go in peace. All right, is your palate wet? Good, because mine is. Greetings, my brothers. My name is Captain Aurelius. I'm the uh, commanding officer of the Intel Protection Force. We are an elite and venerable organization whose members are committed to providing physical security, protection, defense, inspiration, leadership, and guidance to young, disenfranchised men who 
who identify themselves as incels. Listen, I do understand. I do, I, I do understand the frustration. Saying that young men are disenfranchised is actually not a controversial thing to say anymore. I think that has become a more widespread understanding. You know, the whole dick measuring contest where we're like, oh no, we're the most, we're the most oppressed. Oh, we are, no people you don't understand. Black people you don't understand. We're, we're, so, we're so much more oppressed. Stupid, pointless. Here's what I would say though, I get it. And I feel some of the same pressure when women go out there and they're just like, don't you hate it when men? I hate when men. So yesterday I was feeling really angry at men. Damn, I'm sorry. If you allow yourself to just be receiving that content all day, like, that's gonna put you in a bad place. No matter who you are and no matter how privileged or not privileged you are in your life. But you can't heal resentment with more resentment. Ah. Uh, for fuck's sake, I spilled my vermouth. It's up, power. Hail the supreme gentleman. So that's a little concerning. There's a Twitter account called Women Posting L's, which is just an accumulation of some, some, some tomfoolery. This, this shit though, this is 100 times worse than anything that could be posted on that Twitter account. <laughs> Women don't want me. Everybody, listen to me. I want you all to know how much women don't want me to form an organized movement and collectively just be broadcasting your L's to the universe. I don't... <laughs> how? Mm. Exquisite. Chateau Latour, 1938. Very fine vintage, indeed. He's really proud of this bottle. He's milking this bottle. It's like this is literally all he drinks. He gets up in the morning, cinnamon toast crunch, no milk, just Chateau Latour. <laughs> Today, I want to tell you a story. This is a story about a young man. A young man who was weak, meek, emaciated, scrawny and scraggly. A young man who considered himself to be an incel for life. He needed to effectuate a complete metamorphosis. And so, by sheer force of will, by sheer hope and desire, to become better than he was. He went to the gym. He trained. He went to law school. He obtained a Juris Doctorate. Today, he is charisma maxed. He's IQ maxed. And indeed, he is even gym maxed. Wait, is this guy you? Hold on. He's charisma maxed, but he can't make jokes. And he can't small talk. I speak, of course, of myself. And, if I could do that for myself, without any help, without any support, no solidarity, no brotherhood, then certainly all of you who join us can find the inspiration, the motivation, the guidance to effectuate that same transformation. And now, a toast to the Supreme Gentleman. May he look down upon us with pride, satisfaction, and perfect contentment as we do his noble work. Nostrovia, in the name of President Putin and all that is glorious in this world. Where'd Putin come from? <sighs> oh, well, anyway, now I feel obligated to have some way to wrap this up and be like, No, I... You listen here, buddy. You, you respect those women. You, you very bad. You respect those women. No, no. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad.